Justin Shepard, the Aurora Horizons Fund allocates assets among a number of alternative investment strategies. So far this year, which strategies have worked the best for you? We've seen really good performance coming out of event-driven strategies. Uh, the soup for M&A activity continues to be very good. There's high cash on balance sheets, accommodating credit markets, low interest rates, and shareholders want value. And managements have been able to create that through a number of different events, be it spin-offs, M&A, or what have you. And that creates really interesting opportunities that we've been able to uh, see our managers uh, invest in. What about macro? We've seen a lot of people playing the dollar successfully so far this year. What about at Aurora? It has been. Uh, in the strategy, we have a trend following manager, and the dollar move has been one that's been profitable versus the euro, the yen, other crosses as well. I um, mean, we think that could continue. You're seeing differing monetary policy across these different regions. Um, and as the U.S. begins to get into an interest rate uh, raising cycle, you could see continued strength in the dollar. Can you talk about correlations for while everything was going up together, stocks, bonds, commodities, now things are a little bit scattered. So talk about how you're dealing with that at Aurora. We think it's a great thing. Uh, we want uh, correlations to be as low as possible. Coming out of the crisis in 2008, we had unprecedented liquidity being put into the system. And there were good reasons for that. And that calls, caused all assets, all stocks, to really move in the same direction. But as we get into this period of differing uh, economic policies, as the Fed starts to uh, take some foot off the gas, we think that'll create greater dispersion among stocks, there'll be greater dispersion among countries, and we think that's an ideal en environment for absolute return investing. So we're very excited that correlations are down. All right, what about on the short side? What are you shorting? What do you think is gonna go down the most in the second half? Really, the short book is put together on an idiosyncratic basis. There's lots of different stocks, different stories, where companies have either over-earned, um, where they'll come back, uh, come back to ground or where you'll see certain themes, maybe healthcare where things have gone a little, uh, a little uh, tippy in terms of some of the markets there. So really there's a well-rounded short book in the portfolio and lots of opportunities going forward. All right, thanks a lot, Justin. Thank you.